Hi, my name is David Gary, and I am the chief uh, instructor here at Honors Prep Academy. Today, I'm going to be going over something different with you guys. Instead of looking at specific reading passages, what I'm going to be doing is going on over a very, very specific kind of question, and that is the vocab and context question. So with these kind of questions, we usually think that we need to know exactly what the word means, but that's not necessarily the case. I'm going to show you guys why. So today we're going to start by looking at number 10 here. As used in line 66, stole most nearly means what? Okay, so when we look at this, we first want to look at line 66, and it says what? I perceived in the gloom a figure which stole from behind a clump of trees, right? So when we look at this sentence, what's important is not what we think stole means, but which one of those words from before is the most natural word in this context? So what we want to do to simplify this kind of problem is we will need to find two things. One, the subject of the sentence, and two, the object of the sentence. So in this case, the subject that's modifying the, the verb stole is a figure and the noun or and sorry the object uh, behind a clump of trees so a figure stole behind from behind a clump of trees so when we look at the options here a figure loomed from behind a clump of trees a figure pinched from behind a clump of trees a, fig a figure wrapped from behind a clump of trees and a figure displaced from a clump, clump of trees. When we think about this, uh, this word from, there's only one word in which from naturally works with these, these verbs. So the only one that works here would be what? Loomed, suddenly appeared, right? So we're gonna move on and I'm gonna show you another example now. Let's go on to number 27. I guarantee you the same strategy will work to insert this question. So looking at 27, as used in line 53, deploy most nearly means, uh-oh, we might not know what deploy means in this case, right? But instead of thinking about what we might think that deploy means, whether it means mimic, utilize, release, negate, all we have to do is again, find the subject and object of the sentence. So we're gonna go to line 53. Chapter three says what? It had been long hoped that new horizons would be able to deploy its instruments. So again, what's the subject? New horizons, object, its instruments. So new horizons, blank its instruments. New horizons, mimic its instruments, copy, no. Utilize its instruments, release its instruments or the gate its instruments. Only one, again, makes perfect sense in the context, and that's utilize. So what I want to urge you guys with this kind of question is, really, as long as you find the subject and object, almost 90% of the time, it will be unambiguous what the answer will be. So I'm going to share with you guys one more example of the following. Let's look at line seven, the word engage most generally means what? So line seven, what does it say? Tasks involve the more difficult or they can concurrently engage overlapping processes. So in this case, our noun or, ob or subject is they, and our object is overlapping processes. But they, we need to know what, what it actually refers to. So when we think about what they refers to, it refers to what? The tasks. So we have the tasks blank processes. If you just think about that, then we know the answer immediately. The task Mary varies processes, captures processes, employs processes, or absorbs processes. There's only one, again, that really, really works with this kind of question. You don't capture a process. Marrying a process means joining, but that doesn't really work here. So we have employ, right? Use, utilizes a process. So that's why C is the answer right here. Okay, so we've looked at three examples in which 
clearly, as long as we know the subject and object of the sentence of the modifying verb, then we know exactly what the answer will be. If you guys have any questions about these kind of questions, I encourage you to ask, but I will tell you again, 99% 90 of the time, if we're looking at what a verb in a sentence means, as long as we know the subject and the object, it becomes a simple game from there. Thanks.